Paris, thanks so much for being here. Let's look at just New York City's primary, presidential primary specifically, 84,100 disqualified mail-in ballots. And Paris, that is 21% of mail-in ballots, one-fifth. So what happens to our election process if one-fifth, one-fifth of our mail-in ballots for November 3rd's election are disqualified for some reason? Well, thank you for having me on the show. If that were to happen nationwide, we'd have election catastrophe. You have Democrats making false claims right now saying that President Trump will uh, refuse to leave the White House or doesn't want to accept the election results. Well, the fact of the matter is, there will not be any re election results because we'll have so much fraud, we'll have so much confusion, and we will not have the results like we should have if we had the traditional system that we have all cherished and know to work effectively, which is going to your polling place, showing your identification, and voting in person, or voting absentee. That is very different than this power grab by the Democrats, which has failed in New York, which has failed in parts of Nevada already, that shows high instances of fraud, high instances of, of the Postal Service losing ballots or multiple ballots being made. The, this is a disaster in the making. And the Democrats are just hell-bent on stopping President Trump from winning this election because they know the enthusiasm is on his side, they know the energy is on his side for people wanting to go out and, and enthusiastically cast their vote proudly for him because of his agenda and not for the 47-year-plus agenda uh, of, of inaction and non-leadership of Joe Biden.